went to BronyCon this year. I went to the TF2 panel and I found Lightning Bliss's booth in the marketplace and I bought a print for her with her signature on it. And because of a lot of the other members of the community were there, I struggled to get the courage to go up and ask for their signature too. I should go over and talk to them. Wait, I don't know their real personalities. What if they're in bad moods? What if they're busy? I can't just go up and talk to them. I don't even know them! Well, I guess I would know if I talked to them. But what if I come out sounding like an idiot? Oh jeez, they're gonna think I'm stupid. No, don't think like that. Oh jeez, one of them sees that I'm staring. They probably think I'm a weirdo already. And then I told myself to stop being such a chicken and just go over there. And I did. And I asked Jasper Pie to sign the print that I got. Sure. And he signed it. And I said thanks. And then I walked away. I know a lot of people who are big on YouTube say not to treat them as anything more than a normal person. But... What can I say? I have low self-esteem that comes and goes. This isn't important to what this video is about or anything. I just wanted to talk about it. So, I don't think I was ever clear about this, but guess who graduated high school? Yeah, I've been in high school this whole time. Today, I thought I'd talk to you about certain issues I've been having on this channel in the past months. Now, I'm sure you guys have noticed that the content on this channel before the stuff for Nate and Robotic City came out... ...weren't as good as they were in the past, and, well, I know why that is. When I first started working on these videos, I think it was spring 2016, we started scripting it, and we didn't finish recording for it for another year or so. When we were done, I realized how much editing I had to do, which was a big reason why it took so long. When I was finally done, I was far into burnout and seriously needed a break. So I went on hiatus for a few months. The thing was, during that hiatus, my taste in video content began to change, and I lost interest in doing reviews. I still liked the shows I talked about just fine, I just slowly lost interest and started becoming more interested in making my own, more original content. Because of this, it's made working on The Meeting Movie Part 2, and by extension, the rest of the reviews, very hard to work on. So, what does this mean? Well, since I've already started The Meeting Movie, I kinda have to finish it. I'd kinda feel like a loser if I didn't. But afterwards, I'll probably be doing my own thing on this channel. I might still do some reviews here and there, but it won't be the majority of the content. Videos might come out less often, but I'd rather post one or two videos a year that are really good than more that are not so good. Nate and Robotic City are the first examples of this. Along with them, I came out with other ideas I wanted to get done by the end of college, but I probably won't because there are just so many. And that's that. That's what's going on. So with that, I'll see you guys next time, onwards and upwards.